Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're discussing the latest news and developments in Iraq's economic landscape. Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al Sudan's administration is making significant strides in implementing contracts within Iraq, prioritizing economic progress and national development. This strategic approach focuses on fostering various infrastructure projects and development programs, aiming to fortify Iraq's economic foundation for sustained growth. With thousands of contracts in the pipeline, Al Sudan's vision extends beyond short term gains, seeking to elevate the quality of life for Iraqi citizens and solidify the nation's economic resilience. The decision to utilize the Iraqi dinar IQD as the primary currency for these contracts reinforces the value and stability of the national currency, signaling the government's intent to maintain control over financial mechanisms within the country. This strategic move not only mitigates the risks associated with currency fluctuations, but also fosters a more stable and predictable economic environment. Encouraging local businesses and contractors to actively engage in national development initiatives. The increased circulation of IQD within the country is expected to enhance liquidity in the banking system, making more funds available for loans and investments across various sectors. This influx of capital holds the potential to spur further economic growth and innovation, driving Iraq towards a path of sustainable development. Beyond its economic implications, the decision to fulfill contracts in IQD carries significant political weight, serving as a testament to the government's capability to manage the country's economic affairs. This instills confidence among the Iraqi populace in their national currency and the leadership's commitment to stability and self-sufficiency. In conclusion, Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al Sudan's initiative to implement contracts within Iraq paid in IQD represents a multifaceted strategy aimed at economic stabilization and growth by prioritizing domestic currency usage. The government is taking definitive steps towards achieving economic independence and fostering a robust and resilient national economy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.